Hi, everyone. My name is Mark Sykes, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Interim Dean of Students. Before I go any further, congratulations. Your students are among the very best scholars in the country, and you are integral to their success. I hope you have taken a moment to celebrate all of your efforts as a family. At William & Mary, we want you as partners in your students' educational journey. During your students' time at William & Mary, you will meet a number of university educators who will serve as partners to support your students. We take being a member of this community seriously. We care for one another, we look out for one another, and we support one another. One of the joys of having college age students is watching their community expand. You will find connection with other parents who, like you, are eager to engage in the William & Mary experience. Today, nearly 400 family members are beginning their journey with us. You will remain a significant part of their success and their life. The departments of student success and our colleagues throughout student affairs work closely with your student. Today, you will hear about relationships we develop with your students, the relationships we develop with you as family members, and resources available for both. As the spring semester begins, we are focused on safely welcoming students and engaging them in a robust in-person learning environment. The past several months presented all of us with significant challenges. Throughout the academic year, Public health conditions will continue to change, and they may do so in unpredictable ways. The COVID-19 response and public health advisory teams continue to meet to review the public health landscape in real time. William & Mary will adopt any necessary adjustments to our policies and communicate those quickly. We continue to focus on establishing a robust academic environment based on our mission and values. We prepare students to lead a life of meaning by creating opportunities to ensure success, empower those who live, learn, and work here. Finally, we focus on building a community that embraces new ideas and encourages diverse perspectives. Whether in the classroom or around campus, we encourage opportunities for growth. Building on our core values of belonging, we strive to be a place where equity and inclusion are integral to our daily lives. Our goal is to create a community that represents different backgrounds, talents, and skills. As your students engage with us, their perspectives will continue to expand. As you explore campus, you will notice several construction projects. One in particular that creates excitement for many of us is the expansion of the Sadler Student Center. The goal with the Sadler expansion is to create a hub of student life in the heart of campus to meet our students where they spend time outside of the classroom. This beautiful addition centralizes student affairs departments and services. This expansion creates engaging spaces for meetings, social events, speakers, performances, and other community gatherings. We move our offices into this space this summer, and I look forward to the impact this will have on student life. Let's talk a little bit about our relationship with your student. All of these topic areas are covered in more depth throughout their orientation program. The university experience fosters exploration, engagement, and true enjoyment. This is an environment where your students are encouraged to explore. This may include exploring thought-provoking ideas, exploring and navigating a study abroad experience, or simply exploring our campus. Regardless of how, we encourage exploration. They should also engage. Whether taking new class, joining an organization, or getting involved in the Williamsburg community, we encourage them to engage and try new things. We will create opportunities for student success through advocacy, early intervention, and when appropriate, support always as needed. And the most important thing for us is enjoyment. This experience should be enjoyable. Now, I'm not suggesting that every moment of every day should be blissful. However, we do expect them to enjoy their classes, to enjoy engaging with fellow students, and enjoy all of the experience this university offers. Please encourage them to explore, become engaged, and enjoy life at William & Mary. 
We want your student to find balance during their time with us. We believe leading a life in balance is the best way to maintain well-being and to take full advantage of the university experience. The William & Mary curriculum is rich in its breadth and depth. We encourage students to strive for balance as they find their passion in the classroom. And we partner with that learning environment to ensure progress towards a degree. Your student has access to over 450 student organizations and sport clubs. I'm sure they will sign up for no fewer than 10. However, this may not be realistic, especially if this is their first semester. I invite students to explore their interests and find groups that foster growth. This does not mean joining 10 groups at once. But to me, it also means sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone, meeting people from different backgrounds or who share different perspectives. Students can get involved, but they must take the first step. It's important for you to provide encouragement as they try new adventures. When students enter university, they experience greater levels of freedom. With this freedom comes responsibility. They must make choices that support their well being and the well being of the university. Shortly, you will receive an email from me that includes a link to a video addressing alcohol, drugs, hazing, discrimination, the code of conduct, information about our honor code, and how the university supports your students regardless of their choices. We provide support and resources across many areas. The Division of Student Affairs led by Vice President Ambler creates an environment where students can thrive. Spanning four thematic areas, the division is designed to prepare students to learn, lead, and live a life with integrity and purpose. The mission is to create a learning environment where community is strengthened and individuals flourish. My office feature a wide variety of services for students. Student Accessibility Services provides accommodations for access related to the American with Disabilities Act through academic accommodations and other resources. Care Support Services offers advocacy, resources, and support as students manage interpersonal academic and wellness concerns. Academic Enrichment Program manages the tutor zone an internationally accredited peer tutoring resource and guide students to the completion of their academic goals. Student services assist students with withdrawals, leave of absence, readmission, and exceptions to academic policies, including schedule adjustments. The Center for Student Diversity strives to foster inclusion, collaboration, and relationship building within our campus community. The CSD invites students to be part of campus conversations that build understanding, civility, and respect across differences. Community values and restorative practices engages students in reflective learning to foster personal development, civility, and the understanding of responsibilities associated with living in our community. The Haven is a peer-based, confidential, welcoming, and inclusive resource center for those impacted by sexual violence and harassment, relationship abuse and intimate partner violence, stalking, and other gender-based discrimination. If your student hears from us, it does not mean that something is wrong or that they are in trouble. We reach out to students often to foster a connection and let them know that we do care. We are deeply invested in our students and our office are a great place to start when your students may need help or just ask a quick question. Now I'd like to turn the program over to your partner in parent and family programs. Hi everyone, my name is Heather Deer and I'm Interim Director of Parent and Family Programs. I'm sure this has been an eventful week for you and your family. Many of you have helped your student pack up their belongings and have made the journey here to Williamsburg to say see you later. To all families, both near and far, welcome to the family. I know I'm not the first to welcome you, but welcome nonetheless. We view our relationship with you and your student as a partnership. Through this partnership, we seek to create the optimal support system for every student. Our partnership begins today. Before we begin discussing the nuts and bolts related to our relationship, I want to take a moment to provide an overview of how your relationship with your student may change over time. 
As you were preparing over the last few days to travel to Williamsburg, I would imagine that many of you took the lead in ensuring that everything was packed and ready to go, the route to campus was easy to navigate, and ultimately you were likely in the driver's seat as you made your way to campus. As your student matures, they will become the driver of their experience here and in life. This may look and feel a bit different from your relationship up to this point. Like I mentioned before, you are an important partner in supporting your student success. Your students should sit in the driver's seat while you offer navigation, just like when teaching them how to drive for the first time. You should begin to encourage self-advocacy. You may be on the receiving end of a panicked phone call at some point during the semester. In these moments, it is easy to jump into fixer mode by calling the appropriate offices or sending emails on behalf of your student. My recommendation is to resist this urge to just fix it. Allow your student to take the lead, support your student by asking open-ended questions about the issue, offer resources available to support them, and listen for the true purpose of their phone call. Sometimes they just need to know that you are on the other end to help them process what's happening. I acknowledge that this transition will come easy to some, may be difficult to others, and we can't expect it to happen overnight. It is important to remember our ultimate goal. At the end of this experience, we expect your students will develop into healthy, independent adults. The experience of problem solving, accepting responsibility for their actions, and trying new things will empower your students to be their own best advocates. Now is the time to let them stretch their wings and fly. There are some nuts and bolts items I want to cover with you and I need your help. First, does William and Mary have the ability to contact you? If you have not received any, fam any email from families at wm.edu, this means I don't have your email address. Typically, Parent and Family Program sends one email per month via the newsletter and will send other important communications that we will discuss in a few moments. Please request that your student add your email using the personal information questionnaire, which we will discuss in detail now. First, let's talk about emergency communication. All the information I'm going to talk about is related to the information your student provided inside their personal information questionnaire. This system is the mass notification system that will send an automated voice and text message to up to five devices. The first one is reserved for your student's mobile number. The remaining four are reserved for who your student believes should be notified. This may include your mobile phone, your home phone, and your work phone. Now the next question that I always hear is when do you use the mass notification system? This system is used when there is a campus-wide emergency or natural disaster. If something local happens in the city of Williamsburg or surrounding community, and there is no immediate risk to the campus community, the university will use the mass notification system to communicate to your student only. If there is a threat to campus or an ongoing issue, we will communicate to all of the numbers listed in our emergency notification system. The second piece of information to have in our system is their emergency evacuation plan. This lets us know where they will go if campus must close. As of yesterday, some of your students had not completed the plan. Your student must navigate to personalinfo.wm.edu to complete their emergency evacuation plan. Another important tab in your student's personal information questionnaire is the family tab. This is where your student can update your contact information for communications from the university, including our parent and family newsletters. Earlier when I asked if you have not received communications from our office, if you haven't received those communications, please have your student verify that your information is included and listed correctly in their personal information questionnaire. Now let's discuss release of information. Let's verify what releases you have on record. Under the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, these releases allow our office and others at William & Mary to have conversations with you regarding your student's academic, financial, and honor and conduct status. The academic release gives us the ability to communicate with you regarding a student's academic performance. 
The financial release covers information regarding billings, charges, payments, refunds, and scholarships. And the conduct and honor release gives us the ability to talk with you regarding any disciplinary actions or investigations. We cannot speak with you if you don't have a release. So please make sure that you're aware of what your student has chosen. Every year, there are a couple of students after the first quiz in mid-February that unbeknownst to their family change their permissions regarding releases of academic records. It is important to have ongoing conversations with your student regarding the releases that they have on file. So we just talked about FERPA releases. Now let's talk about passphrase. I am sure your student has already signed up and sent you your personal passphrase. To protect the privacy of your student, university offices will not talk to you over the phone unless you have a secret word or passphrase. This gives us the ability to verify who we are talking to on the phone. It is just a way for us to better protect your student's educational record. Your student has to initiate this process and can do so through the PIQ or personalinfo.wm.edu. There is a lot of new language and different services you have access to. We have just talked about your student's personal information, FERPA releases, and passphrase. There are two other ways that you can access information from the university about your student. These are distinct and different from just giving us permission to speak with you regarding an academic, financial, or conduct and honor matter. As you are noticing, these systems may be a bit confusing. One is academic related and one is financial. You can always visit our website, wm.edu families, to revisit what each of these systems can provide access to. Finally, having accurate and updated contact information for parents and family members is critical to our relationship with you. Our communication with you will take place at select times, but primarily when a situation arises that you need to be aware. Please rest assured that William and Mary will reach out if there is a crisis or emergency. However, we will not be calling weekly with check-ins related to academics. Above all, I want to stay engaged with you as family members in a way that best supports your student's success at the university. Here are other ways that we can connect with you to keep you updated. When in doubt, call William & Mary office or department for accurate and timely information. Parent and Family Programs also sends monthly newsletters, provides webinars, and hosts a robust hub of resources just for you on our website. It has been a pleasure to speak with you today. I hope to meet many of you throughout your students' first semester at William & Mary, and please stop by and say hi if you're ever in town in Campus Center 109. Welcome to the family.